Hello guys, I'm Simone from Agrement Italia and representing today Cadillon Winery. So... Hello, my name is uh, Martin. Uh, I'm right now I'm behind the camera setting it up. Uh, and right now I'm behind, no, in front of the camera, sorry. I am uh, Stefano Campanini, I'm Italian wine ambassador, uh, wine educator within Italy and the owner of uh, Wine by the Day, a store in Florida, which is where I met Cadellion, which is a blend of Pinot Noir and okay. The Pinot Noir gives an earthiness that is really unique, it gives it a base uh, it stays on the light body side, but then you got the rouquet that kicks in with the aromatics, uh, typical of this way. Uh, um, definitely one of the most fascinating wines I've had. You know, it goes out of the uh, stereotypical wine. And, well, Cabellon is now at the fifth generation, so a long history born in 1871 bringing a lot of native grapes as Dolcetto, Barbera, Gagnolino, Moscato, as well the Cortese that we taste together uh, today. We could start maybe with the uh, Galavera. 100% Pinot Nero, made like uh, Prosecco in steel tank, second fermentation in steel tank. This is more minerality, a little bit more elegance, the creamy bubbles from the Pinot Nero is a... Uh, you have made a good job, Silvio. So, good job for this one. 100% Pinot Nero. And the first one, Alta Langa, also Pinot Nero. In fact, I think it is a, it's a fantastic uh, uh, Spumante. And I think uh, with a, a lot of hard work and time, Alta Langa will have a future in, in Sweden. And uh, Cadillion really came up with a totally different outfit, a totally different but intense structure. Um, definitely uh, very much uh, multidimensional and at the same time this incredible pleasure that you have for a light-bodied wine and uh, refreshing. Uh, on top of it, the fact that you're serving it chilled um, gives it gives you an added advantage on that sensation and the mouthfeel that you get. It's always surprising. Ah. The sound is good. Maybe the taste is bad. This is a classic typical Cortese smelling um, a lot of white flour as, and a little part of jasmine. And then fruit as apricot, peach, and a little part of uh, green apple. Very, very balanced. Very fresh and with a lot of acidity and salty final taste. Uh, it's a good glass of wine, definitely. And I suggest you to try it with grilled fish, must of all, that is perfect. And the last so, one, and the one that actually has already opened since it's lunchtime, and apparently I like it. It's the Piemento Rosato Rizzante. The, there's much less bubbles, but when you drink it, you can feel the bubbles. But when I choose wines that I'm going to import, I mainly work with my nose. Because this this wine has a very, very distinct fruit character when you... <sighs> you did directly, you want to go to a party and you want to get the pizza out of the oven, meet your friends and start the evening. Uh, so, you know, I'm just standing uh, behind uh, my lucky finding and uh, I propose this wine to as many people as I can and I've always had amazing satisfactions. So, Greetings uh, from Miami, from me and my very good friend Cadelion, that is uh, one of the flagships of my store. Cheers! As you say in Sweden, hey, tack för idag! So, keep enjoy and bring the wine to your home and uh, visit Cadelion Winery and remember to drink well and drink it up. Bye.